Hello everyone and welcome back to Shay's Crafting Corner. I'm Shay and today we are making an X-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars. An X-Wing Starfighter is a versatile Rebel Alliance jet that balances speed with firepower armed with four laser cannons and two proton torpedo launchers. The X-Wing can take anything the Empire throws at it. So let's get started and may the force be with you. The materials you're going to need are a glue gun, pencil, paint, white, black, and red paint, paint brushes, toilet paper rolls, a box, finally I got a ruler, and scissors. But I really wouldn't use scissors because this is how my hands turned out, so I would use an X-Acto knife if you have one. We're going to start with the box. Thankfully I had a really huge computer box, but if you don't it's totally fine. I'm going to measure the base of the ship as 18 inches up and 4 across. Then I'm going to measure the wings, 12 up and 3 across. We're now going to make the guns for the plane. Since there's 4 wings, there's going to be 4 guns. You're going to do half an inch across and in the video I measured 12 going down, but really it was 9 and I just cut it. Now that we've cut everything out, we're going to use our white paint and everything gets two coats front and back, except the base, which only gets the front painted, but still two coats. Now that we've painted everything, you're going to get your four wings, your four guns, and your glue gun. You're going to glue each gun to the end of the wing. Now that we've glued on the very undetailed guns, we are going to put on the cannons, which are the toilet paper rolls and you're just gonna make a slit in them and then slip the other end of the wing in there. To secure it, you're just gonna glue the outside of the slit to the wing and make sure that the inside is also glued. To make it even harder on myself, I decided to make it an actual looking ship instead of just a flat one. So I made these three sides. It didn't really measure, but if I had to guess, I would say that they're like three, these little pieces are three inches across and then obviously 18 down. And this big piece is probably double that, if not triple that. Honestly, it's not gonna be perfect and that's totally okay. So just measure and then cut and then if it doesn't fit, then cut again. I'm now going to put the wings on and you're just going to put two up top and then two on bottom. Everything's basically done and we're just going to add some details. If you want to skip over this, you totally can. If you want to put more detail into it, then continue. So we're just going to add three windows, um, 
there one is going to be square in the center and then the two are going to be triangles off to the sides. started in Sharpie but then realized that it wouldn't show up so that's why I got some black paint. So much easier. Now we're gonna take our red paint. We're gonna paint a big box closest to the cannon and then four little boxes with the last one connected to the first. Don't forget to do it on both sides of the plane. The last thing we're going to paint is a long rectangle on each side. That's also red. I am a dingus and completely forgot that the back is open, so you're going to want to measure paint and glue on the back, as well as the front. And there you have it, an X-Wing Starfighter. I even added a little R2-D2. I hope you had fun. Subscribe, like, and comment down below, and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're celebrating Cinco de Mayo tomorrow, make sure you stay safe, but you also could have a little fun and making a little pinata for yourself, which I did last week in a video that is right here, waiting for you. So convenient, I know. <laughs> anyway, thank you for stopping by my corner. See you next time. Bye.